good morning. It's Pete. Welcome to the Small Business Resource Center. This is a Friday morning update for October 23rd for the HEROES Act, CARES Act, Stimulus Act updates, uh, coronavirus news, and the debate, and more. I'm just going to brush over a couple things quickly. <clears throat> so, um, if you didn't know, I actually have a petition on change.org for S4227, what I believe actually expands beyond that a little bit to try to give everybody the $10,000 EIDL grant and also a couple other provisions to help small businesses. But if you didn't see the petition, click the first link down below and sign it because we're trying to help all businesses. Um, I kind of wish more of change.org, but they're a promotion type thing. They just keep asking me to pay to promote it. So if you guys could just smash a like button, that would be great if this kind of news helps you. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And if you're back, thank you for coming back. But let's get into the topics. Okay, the Democrat Senate Judiciary Committee were boycotting the advancement of Amy Barrett's uh, nomination yesterday. The funny thing about this is they just decided not to be present uh, rather than vote no. But um, she did advance with the yes votes that they did get for the people that were present. Um, you know, when we're looking at our government, I kind of feel this is childish. you got to keep in mind we're all supposed to be adults here. They're unhappy with the selection. So instead of, you know, being adults and maybe stating that or vote, voting no, if that's what they want to do, they just said we're not going to show up. I mean... You know, is this how our government's supposed to supposed to act? If there's an actual problem with Amy Barrett Cope, uh, maybe they should say what that problem would be rather than be childish and not show up. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but, you know, these are supposed to be political people that are representing us, and, you know, they decide they're just not going to show up because they're not happy about something that's being done. What are your thoughts? Comment below. So the last presidential debate was yesterday, of course. Um, I'm going to go over some details about that a little bit later because I did update my notes. Today we're 11 days from the election. Many people are voting by mail. Um, and there are reports that many of the mail-in votes will not be counted. Um, when you're looking at that and asking why, well, apparently the mail or whoever's looking at these votes ahead of time have stated that there are many duplicate votes. you got to keep in mind that I'm sure all of you are getting the same thing I am. Sometimes four texts a day about mail-in voting or voting, uh, which I'm not happy with personally. And also many mail-in vote applications or maybe even actual mail-in vote uh, ballots coming in the mail. Um, I get a bunch of them. I'm sure you probably got a bunch of them. So some people are filling out multiple applications and sending them in. So they said that's the main reason why a lot of mail-in ballots will not be counted because of course you can't vote twice. Um, the other thing is improperly filled out ballots. If it's improperly filled out, they cannot count it. So those are the two main reasons that I saw that m many of them will be disqualified. Um, so what I want to do is encourage you to potentially vote in person. Um, if you feel it's a safe thing to do, that might be a good step. But still, there's time to pass the new stimulus package. As you well know, it has not passed yet. The Tuesday deadline that Nancy Pelosi gave passed. The reason why she gave that deadline is she said, well, if we verbally agree, there's time to draft the bill, time to get any revisions done. Then, of course, voting in the House, voting in the Senate, Congress to approve, and then the president to sign. And all that would take time. So despite that, <laughs> that's passed, of course. It's Tuesday. We're at Friday. My opinion is most likely we'll, we will not have an agreement um, basically, Marco Rubio said, if we don't do something soon, we're going to run the risk of economic damage. Marco Rubio said that they'll be meeting to work on a deal, and he's not sure if this is going to pass before the election. Uh, he feels that the reason why the Democrats aren't passing the stimulus package is to try to make the president look bad. Um, Trump says that he doesn't think the stimulus package will pass before the election at this point. And the Republicans said the Democrats will regret not taking the $1.9 trillion stimulus package before the election. So if you didn't know, the Republicans actually increased their offer to $1.9 trillion. And the reason why they will not go to $2.2 trillion and just agree with the HEROES Act is because the Republicans 
feel that there's a lot of money going to failed states that are blank checks that they can fix the problems from the policies that they have that aren't good. And there's also money going to different organizations that they feel, you know, don't need the money. So when you're looking at that analysis, that's why the Republicans are not agreeable to the $2.2 trillion HEROES Act. All the money that's going to places that they feel do not need it or are to fix problems that they feel are because of failed pro policies or things that, you know, um, riots were typically encouraged and now they want money to fix up uh, things that were destroyed. So that's, you know, I'm just telling you what they're saying, not taking sides. But China is also threatening to retaliate over the arms deal that the U.S. made with Taiwan. So I've actually said this multiple times that if there's another world war, major war, there's a very good chance it's going to be with China. And I'm not a proponent for any war anywhere, don't get me wrong. But um, a lot of people have noted or I've seen news reports on particularly the South China Sea. China's actually built islands, they manufactured islands and then are claiming it to try to push out the borders to keep out all the other Asian uh, continents from the, um, or I shouldn't say continents, <laughs> countries from the South China Sea. Basically because there's a lot of oil there and they're trying to claim it all for themselves. Um, in my opinion, maybe it would be fair for the for uh, maybe United Nations to step in and say, hey, look, you can't do this based on the maritime regulations and, and the laws that are already in place. Everybody can participate in getting some oil and or some revenue generated. When I say everybody, the countries around the South China Sea, and then that would help all the economies. Um, but what China is doing is pushing the boundaries. They're making islands and then they're forcing their policies on these smaller countries that cannot defend themselves. And that's why I feel eventually there may be uh, some type of war. <clears throat> so many times um, we've mentioned the jobless claims. There's 787,000. That's down from over 800,000 jobless claims last week. <clears throat> Steve Mnuchin and Mitch McConnell proposed a standalone Paycheck Protection Program bill. Um, it was a $257,000 bill for the new Paycheck Protection Program, and it would be a second PPP loan if, you, if your business still needs one and you have a 35% loss or greater in revenue from last time, same quarter, and you have under 300 employees. So they need 60 votes to get that passed. Unfortunately, they did not get that passed. Um, it was voted 40 to 57, um, and unfortunately, I don't understand why you would not want to pass a standalone Paycheck Protection Program bill that is targeted to helping small businesses. <clears throat> the Senate voted on a bill that would extend unemployment compensation and pandemic unemployment assistance. So this was agreed upon in a retroactive bill to give uh, the unemployment and the pandemic unemployment assistance retroactive pay from September 2021. So you'd get another lump sum payment. <clears throat> and okay, Thursday night's debate. Last night they said that the, each candidate would get two minutes to talk. I'm sure if you saw the debate, um, during that two minutes they were muting the other candidates so they could not be interrupted. During open discussions it would not be muted. Um, basically, it was at the 22nd at 9 p.m. Um, if, if you want a link, all you got to do is Google YouTube presidential debate. You're going to find it everywhere. So if you didn't see it, I kind of encourage you to watch that before you vote um, so you can make your own decisions because a lot of times people don't get a chance. And if you look at various news sources, they do seem like they censor a lot of things. Um, some people don't agree, but... Recently, somebody commented on one of my things when I said I went to the Pence rally, and I actually said I didn't want to put the Pence rally on if I could not find a local Kamala Harris rally to go to, but unfortunately, I could not find one. So, uh, But since somebody is commenting negatively on my channel, um, I'm almost thinking I should just put that Pence rally up so everybody can see it. Um, long as the audio is okay, but you got to keep in mind that the way the place was, it's very flat, so you could not 
see Mike Pence most of the time, I'm sure. Five foot three. <laughs> so anyways, I might just put that up. Let me know if you want to at least hear his speech and hear what he has to say. Even though I can't find a local Kamala Harris rally and I'm in a majority uh, Democrat area, so I'm shocked that she hasn't come here or is maybe not scheduled to come here. Why would you not come to a major Democratic area to try to promote your values? And keep in mind, I'm not trying to be for or against either one. I'm just stating facts. Um, but because of the negative comment and somebody saying I'm secretly a racist, keep in mind I'm not actually pure white, I'm mixed. But um, I was just kind of shocked to hear that because I actually went to the Pence rally with a Mexican who's an anti-Trumper. Um, we're actually friends by chance, even though he's an anti-Trumper and he knows I do support Trump. So there's no sense for me to lie about something like that. Um, he, when I posted I got two tickets and I was going by myself, he actually asked if he could go. And he told me he was shocked because of the simple fact that he was expecting to see what he saw on TV. You know, maybe people walking around with guns or people walking around with Nazi flags. There's nothing like that. You know, and actually there was people from the city of Reading that he knew that had Spanish flags, American flags, and a Trump flag. You know, families walking around and they saw him and <laughs> waved to him and they were speaking Spanish. I don't know what they were saying, but there is obviously no um, contention between them and they actually know he's an anti-Trumper and he told me he said well they're happy they said they were happy he came because then he could look at the other point of view rather than you know just deciding he was gonna refuse to do that because what he sees in the news is what he believes but anyways if you want to hear that Pence rally I'm happy to post it I may do it this week of course it takes time to make these videos so if you like the video, smash a like button. If you're new, subscribe. And welcome back if you're back. If you have any questions or need help with anything, comment below. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Try to save you some time. Have a great day.